here at the historical King Edwards Hotel chatting with a few friends. I have the adorable Mr. Larry Hollinsworth, and I also have the chef Nick Wallace and his wonderful mother Hello. Susie. And we are talking about delicious food, this beautiful state of Mississippi, this grand hotel. And we're going to start with uh, Larry. Is there something that you want us to know about this beautiful hotel? I appreciate you calling me adorable. I have been saying that for about 20 years. Um, the King Edward, the grand lady of downtown Jackson. What's special about the King Edward? It's her people. And you call him Nick, I call him Nicholas. I think his mom calls him Nicholas because Nicholas is one of the precious people that are here that are the stewards of this great hotel. But beyond that, it's just the great people that live here and work here. You know, in the hotel business, you have two families. You have one with which you live, and you have one with which you work. And the family with which you work has got to be close-knit, and they've got to be stewards of others. It's not about in service to others. It's acts of stewardship to others. And when you have a hotel with the rich history and the past that this hotel has, you become the steward of her and everybody in her. Um, we say there are two different types of guests. There are internal guests and external guests. Internal guests is the family that, that's the stewards of others, and the external guests are obviously the people that pay us to do what we do. But the most special element that is the King Edward is the element of mystique. Yeah. And there's no real type of name or nomenclature you can put on a hotel that has the element of mystique that we have. And the mystique is built on the brand equity platform of her people, the edifice, the building that it is, the past, and its future. And you, not, you don't really know what to expect when you experience a hotel with mystique. But when you walk into the King Edward, and you meet her gracious people, and you bathe in her luxury, <laughs> and you look at her past, right. then you're experiencing mystique and luxury situation. The King Edwards truly is a grand lady. It's like the beautiful state of Mississippi. It's full of elegance, full of grace. It's got great history, and it's got an amazing chef. <laughs> the best in the state of Mississippi. Um, I've worked with Emeril Lagasse, uh, matter of fact, his first job out of school. Hi, Emerald, if you're watching. Hi. And um, I've had the great opportunity of running some four and five star hotels. I've been doing this for 39 years. And Chef Nicholas has the greatest future of anybody that I've met because of his passion, because of his spirit, because of his stoic humility mixed with a fierce business acumen. But it's all about caring for others. And, you know, I love to hear Nicholas talk about his family because that's the roots of who Nicholas Wallace is. Absolutely. And that's why we have this beautiful mom, Susie, here today. Uh, oh, thank you for having And I had a chance to talk to her this morning, and I've learned so many wonderful things about Nick, including his nickname. I will not tell the world that today. <laughs> But it's nothing like having family around you. Nick, I want you to tell us a little bit about what your vision is um, here as the executive chef and the King Edwards mm -hmm. and for your future. My, my vision for King Edward, um, when I first started with King Edward, I've been here almost three years now. Um, it was a, it was probably a tough challenge at time because I wanted to do so much, uh, so little time. I wanted to get it done pretty, pretty fast. Uh, I wanted to be able to, to enrich everybody with a lot of, uh, you know, the relishes and the, and the old school cooking like my grandmother do and my mom also, and, and bring it out to other people's family. I thought this was a perfect hotel. I was actually working at the uh, Marriott up the street for nine years. And when this hotel was built, I said, you know what, that's the next place I want to work. And um, after the uh, grand opening, uh, four months later, I was here. Um, and, and just, it was the proudest day of my life, and I loved the to have that KE on the right side of my shoulder with my white jacket. <laughs> it's, it, and then too, Larry was touching about the family and, and friends and all. Uh, I, I truly uh, enjoy and I'm really so proud and thank God for, for Larry here. And I think we'll we, we make a wonderful team as well. 
think you guys are a dynamic yeah, duo. Yeah, we 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 absolutely yes. wonderful together. I think so too, and I, lo I love mingling with the uh, the lobby and, and talking to people. And I try to walk as many guests to the back and to show them all the collard greens and turnip greens and broccoli and all we got growing to the back because everybody's so surprised. And it was like they don't think of Mississippi like that. They're, they're going to walk into a beautiful hotel and, and see some country boy um, <laughs> that you know cl claim to be chef right now um, that that just learned how to fish too. I just can't talk a, a, a lot about that fishing and hunting and all that. Um, but when you go back and, and see us tearing peppers off the limbs and making pepper sauce and, and, and teaching and giving gifts and, and vital jars for people to take home, it's, it's just a proud moment, especially when you get a call back. And um, Chris, uh, for Thanksgiving, last Thanksgiving, uh, this guest called me uh, about two days after Thanksgiving and just told me exactly what they had on the, on the dinner table for, for Thanksgiving. And they had our pepper, pepper relish. Uh, with their turkey and dressing, and that was just an awesome experience all the way to California. Wow. And for those of you who don't know what Nick is talking about, there is literally a green garden downstairs in this hotel. It is absolutely amazing. I had an opportunity to go out back and take a look at it, and they've got everything. To have your very own garden at the hotel, could you tell us a little bit about it? Well, I wanted to make sure it has a part of Edwards, Mississippi involved with it. Um, the soil is actually half uh, that was dug up from my grandma's land in Edwards, Mississippi. Um, and everything's organic, no chemicals whatsoever. So we've got fluffy kale, bay leaves, we have artichoke, broccoli, uh, we have micro collards and full grown collards, micro turnips and full grown turnips. <laughs> oh, wow. We have uh, so many herbs, we have Tabasco peppers, um, um, Millennium peppers, uh, the list goes on. We actually have even lily pad uh, edible flowers as well. Growing fresh vegetables right in a hotel. Now that's absolutely astonishing. Well, not only in the back of the hotel, where the associates um, gather on their break time, but if you look at every planter outside of the hotel, that's right. Nick has arranged the landscaping to be edible. Um, you've got some beautiful fresh rosemary growing in every pot. He had a little great <laughs> tomatoes growing in front of the hotel <laughs> this summer. Uh, that fed a lot of people that uh, wandered by, <laughs> but it, it's just, it's a state, what, what Nicholas is looking to achieve, and, and I'm partnering with him on, is that every turn, there's a reminder of your wares, your passion, and your food, because we are food and beverage first hotel. Absolutely. This, I will tell you about this little story this morning. Um, me and my mom was here on the hotel grounds about 6 o'clock this morning. Uh, I went out back and uh, my mom was back there touching on the green lettuce. You have, you have to go touch on the greens and all and talk to them <laughs> uh, when you see it. But I went out front to clip some rosemary and all, and there's this car ride by and they stopped, you know, and they wave and they do the thumbs up and all. It, it, people just love to see that too. And I, I hope we just build, if we are building up a culture that that's going to definitely happen downtown. We're going to see pots of herbs and lettuce everywhere soon. But we're, we're starting here at the King Urban Hotel. And that's a beautiful thing because Mississippi is very, uh, not just historically with traditional foods, but we're health conscious. So you get a little bit of everything when you come to Mississippi. You can have traditional southern foods. And if you are just that person who's uh, in need of a healthy meal, this is a perfect place to come. And Chef Nick Wallace will take care of you. Chef, your love for bracing me. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Because we had a basketball ball there too. I, I love sports. I love playing basketball. So with that, I'll put the food on and we'll go play three or four games. And, uh, I'm a pretty good basketball player too. So yeah. I was uh, the whole time I, I got my mind on, on the short ribs or the steak. <laughs> shops or basketball something. and short ribs. That's hilarious. So Nick, how old were you when you knew that this was your passion? Uh, Fourteen. Wow. Fourteen. I started working at Fernando's on Lake Harbor when I was fifteen. Just turned 15. And it was June. It was uh, yeah, right in June. My birthday is June the 13th. Uh, I started working at Fernando's, and I started uh, just being a steward there. And uh, I used to see, you know, all these all these uh, Mexican guys. Uh, Hernando was his. Uh, I, can't, I can't forget him because he was the one that that pretty much gave me my um, my badge. He had to give me a badge to cook. So um, when I started, he put me on just cook, cutting fajita vegetables at first. And when I started doing the Lexan within an hour. 
full effects in with, with onions and all the bell peppers and all, he was like, you know, you, you need to move here over here because you're pretty quick. And that time I, I started chopping up all the carne asada and everything and I moved it up to the fajita cook and, you know, you think you get your food fast now when you go to a little Tex-Mex <laughs> place and you sit there and you order your food, you got your food in like six, seven minutes. It's wow. just like fast food. You know, I was popping them out, you know, the quesadilla guys and everybody that's frying the chalupas and the chimichangas could, could, could not do me. I was, I was quick on my feet. So I had a passion for it. You know? Talk to me a little bit, Nick, about the Nick Wallace brand. Where do you see that going? I, I see the Nick Wallace brand going far with, with Hilton um, as of right now. I just really think we're, we're setting a, a, a standard for a lot of other hotel and businesses as well. Um, I just sent out an email today, which which I'm so thankful for. Um, um, King Edward is listed on the James Beard Foundation website, yeah. and I think that's just awesome. I think that's just so awesome that you know all the way from Mr. Jackson, Mississippi, we're we're featured on the James Beard Foundation website now. I got that email this morning. Thank you so much, and congratulations. Thank you. Well, listen. Do you think you can cook us something delicious today? You know, I got some things ready for you. I just um, <laughs> I just. We got some watermelon radishes today, so we'll, 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 we'll see what we're going to come up with. Well, that sounds really Somewhere. yummy. Okay, so we're going to go to the kitchen. I want everybody to come and join us. Thank you.
great job to <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. Okay. We're going to have some, we're going to put some more 
going to take that sauce. We're going to add it and let it drip right over. Oh, my goodness. I just fell in love. <laughs> we're going to take this and we're going to accompany it with a little bit of rosemary. You know what? Because we grow it. So we might as well use it, right? 